I give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakradash. Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. The word ignorantly calls God in Jesus Christ, whose correct names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Harakakradash, which is the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do rule well, that have taught me this truth. And I would also like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, and to the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine unto you, I say shalom. The Bible has all the answers for our people. When I say our people, I'm speaking of so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans and those Israelites that are scattered amongst these heathen nations, the nation of Israel, our people. All right, the Bible has all the answers. The black church, the Christian church, all right, black culture, uh, um, you know, the, the, the Black Panther Party, all these different organizations, the Republican and Democratic Party, they don't got the answers, all right? But our people continue to look for answers, guidance from these um, different avenues, all right, in the Bible, which has been, you know, been here for, for, seems like forever, has all the answers. The Bible has the answers, all right, why are we in the condition that the Bible can tell, tell the, 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 the past, the future, the present, and the future of our people, okay, it, it has the history of our people. All right, but our people continue to look for answers in all different sorts of, uh, um, you know, uh, deities, um, uh, ideologies, philosophies, all these things don't got the answers. All right, our people want to hear, they want the answers, but do they really want the answers? They want the false answers. They want the prosperity doctrine. They want to thrive here in Babylon. They want to thrive in America. And that ain't the answer. All right, the answer is for you Jakes to repent. All right, turn from your wicked deeds. Turn from your wicked ways. All right, that's the beginning. Turn to your power, all right? And that's the beginning of true wisdom. Seek wisdom. Seek knowledge. Don't seek the things that the heathens seek. The, the heathens seek fame and money and all these bullshit, all right? That's, that, that is something that, you know, uh, um, that's secondary to this knowledge and this wisdom. You know, not even say that 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 should be the last thing you you just should be concerned with. Our people aren't even concerned with health, all right, and, and, and you know the well-being of their the fellow brother, all right. They, our, our our people have taken on the, the the mind state of Esau, all right. They're looking for him with all for for all the answers, all right. But the Bible is the book that has the answers that, that to tell you to give you direction, all right. To give our people direction, righteous direction. This is um, Isaiah thirty-four. I'm going to start at verse uh, 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No, no, no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth hath commanded me and his spirit hath gathered them. The spirit of the Yahweh Shai is going to gather his elect. All right, those that truly are looking for the answers. All right, that have questions, have true, sincere questions and are looking for the answers. And it says, Read out of the book. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. What is the book of the Lord? The Holy Bible. The Bible. No one of these should fail. These prophecies. All right. All these prophecies are faithful and true, as the scripture says. None shall want her mate. You can't put, you can't mate this book with any other book. Okay. It, 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 let me get this scripture. All right. You got all these different book of the dead, this book, and, you know, people, I read this book on economics. I read this book on this. And, you know, the direction of our people should go, we should do this. And those, they ain't got the answers. All right, the answers in, in the scriptures. Um, let me grab this. Uh, what is that scripture? Bear with me one second. I'm going to just look it up on my phone because it's faster. I know it's Ecclesiastes 12, 12, 12, 12. 12 and 12. And further by these, my son, be admonished of making, of, of making many books there is no end, 
and much study is weariness of the flesh. The point is, there are many books out there, but the only book that has the answers is the scriptures. And it said, um, the first scripture I read in Isaiah 34 and 16, it said, seek ye out of the book and read. You got to read, all right, for the Lord to sup with you. You have to be sincere for the Lord to sup with you, for the Lord to open up this knowledge and this wisdom unto you. Okay, because, you know, you can read his niggas in jail. It's, it's people that scholars that have read the book back and front, but one thing they don't have is the spirit. All right, Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. All right, and these secrets have to be revealed through you through the spirit of Yahweh Yamashah. All right, the Christian church, they read the Bible. All right, the, the, the Baptist church, they, you know, the, the Catholic church, they read the Bible, but they don't have the spirit. All right, the spirit is, is, is the, the, is the, um, is the, uh, 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 it what, it, it's what's, it what, it's what teaches you the truth. It what teaches you the Bible. All right, this is John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit if nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. All right, this is the, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, the whole, the, really the, the book is, Yahweh Shai is the word. All right, so when we speak, we speak Yahweh Shai. It's a spirit that quickeneth. All right, he said the flesh profit nothing. The flesh, your fleshly eyes, your mind reads the words, reads the scriptures, but it, 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 it's not going to profit you anything unless you have the spirit of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. And the only way, only place you're going to seek that in, is the book of the, is, is the scriptures, the Bible. All right. All these, like I the scripture I just read in Ecclesiastes 12 and 12, the, all these making of these books, it's no end. You can make all these books. You can make a book about how to read the Bible. It's not going to profit you nothing if you don't have the spirit. All right. Because these words, these scriptures, they're pure. All right. But our people continue to seek counsel from, from, from anywhere else but the scriptures from really the prophets, because the prophets are the ones that have to break these things down. Like in the scripture I read in Amos 7, the, the Lord revealed his secrets unto the servants of the prophet. The whole book is a secret, okay? Uh, verse, uh, this is Proverbs 30 and 5. Every word of the Lord is pure, and he is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. The word is pure, okay? And those that put their trust in him, they're going to find the answers. They're going to have questions. All right, those that have claimed into this truth, they've always had questions. Why this? Why this? All right, and the average Jake got questions too, okay? But they're not mature enough to, you know, to not, and spiritually uh, mature enough to understand, you know, where to seek answers from. Because they're going to seek answers from the white man. They're going to seek answers from Esau, all right? That's just Jake's MO, all right? You know, Jake, Jake will even Google some shit to seek answers, all right? But you have to seek the prophets. This is, um... Uh, Isaiah 31, let's see, counsel, where's that scripture, I think it's 30, 30, I think it's 30, yeah, 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 Kai, uh, Isaiah 31, woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, and this rebellious children are the children of Israel, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. That's iniquity. All right, so the rebellious children, they take counsel, but not of the Heavenly Father, not of the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai. They take counsel of all these, everything else, any and everything else. A nigga will go get a, 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 a education, a doctrine in, in, in the Bible and still don't have the spirit and still don't know and still don't have the answers. All right, they'll teach you about the Bible, but they can't teach you of the end times. They can't break down these, these deep, deep secrets and revelations. They can tell you the stories about the Bible and the prophets and the history, but they can't tell you the name. They can't break down to you the name, all right? They can't tell you why you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the last last, last hired, first fired, all right? Why, why, why we're in a, such a fucked up condition when we're the greatest people on, on earth, when we, you know, we, we, we excel in everything we do at being at the bottom, okay? Uh, that walk down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. They trust in Babylon. They trust in, uh, 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 um, you know, um, the things that, 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 you know, that they can see. All right. They have no faith. The scriptures say that children whom is no faith. All right. But they want to search and run to any and everyone for the answers when the answers are in the Bible. 
you got to seek the prophets. You got to seek the Lord. Seek his face. Or you have to repent. Um, this is Deuteronomy 30. I think it's 30 or 32. Maybe it's 32. Bear with me one second. Yeah, 30 and 20. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. All right, our people don't have no faith. Okay? They, we, that, was, that was something that we used to have. We lost our heritage. We lost our, you know, the name. We lost, the, you know, our, our, our righteous ways of life, righteous ways to live. Therefore, we lost our faith, okay? We don't have faith in uh, the Heavenly Father, faith that the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, all right? We, we, we become, our, as a nation, we become faithless like our enemies, the devil, these heathens. The heathens don't have faith. They have faith in what they can see, what they can touch, intangible things, all right? Um, but hey, the Bible, the scriptures have all the answers. Why are we in a fucked up condition? Deuteronomy 28 chapter. All right, and I really started the blessing. This is how we were supposed to. We, the Lord blessed us, or we were supposed to be a blessed nation. Okay, and it shall come to pass that if thou shall hearken diligently unto the Lord thy power to observe and to do all this commandment which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, and thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh thy power. All right, that that's. That's where we're supposed to be. But no, all right, Jake went off. It's his consequences for disobedience. Jake want to always know why are we in this situation, well, you know, why are we always fucked up, or, you know, killing each other in the streets. Well, all right, we live in check to check. We live in the worst conditions, the worst places of these cities and these ghettos. Hey, consequences of disobedience. But it shall come to pass that thou shalt not hearken unto the voice thy uh, the voice of Yahweh, thy power, to observe and to do all these commandments and statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And these curses from Deuteronomy 16 all the way to 68 have overtaken us and are still upon us till this day. That's one of the main questions, the answers that Jake has. Why are we in this fucked up condition? Because we went off. We sinned against the Heavenly Father. Okay? We, we, we forsake the Bible. We put the Bible down when the Bible should have been our, 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 it is our main defense against all these things because the Bible has the answers. All right, they forsook the prophets. But they forsook the prophets in the ancient world. They've forsaken the prophets in these times. Okay? But the, the, the scriptures is, is, is the answer to all our problems. All right, repenting. All right, that the scriptures has the righteous law, statutes, and commandments in them for so we can learn how to conduct ourselves, all right, amongst our fellow brothers, all right, conduct ourselves, uh, you know, uh, um, on things, how to eat, all right, it, it, um, everyday matters, all right, where you have a dispute with your neighbor, you're not looking to pull a gun, okay, and, 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 and take this man's life, all right, you steal from your neighbor, hey, it's a law for that, all right, and we should be conducting ourselves amongst our fellow brothers, not these heathens, in fact, our brothers and sisters, and, um, um, you know, uh, uh, amongst each other, amongst each other, so you know the the nations will look at us and say this well, this is a wise and understanding people, okay? Because we have the answers. The answers are in the Bible. The answer begins with repenting, okay? Um, let me see what else I had. But back to the book, the book. All right, it, it, and it, it really boils down to, yeah, Jake knows the Bible, the the, um, the answers are in the Bible, but they don't want those answers. What does Jake want to hear? They want to hear smooth things. Jake don't want to deal with the bitter. All right, this is uh, Ezekiel 2 and 9. I'm going to start at 9. I'm going to go to the next chapter. When I looked, and behold, a hand was sent unto me, and, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. People don't want to pick up the scriptures because it's a lot of negative shit in it. All right, concerning our people. It's a lot of death. It's a lot of judgment that's coming to our people. So people don't want to get into that. You don't want to get into the woe, the lamentations, the mourning, okay? They want to deal with the bitter. We tell them, oh, we were a great nation, and, you know, uh, we were kings. We were going to be a king, a nation, a priest. We're going to have the, the heathens under us. They love that, okay? The majority of them, 
okay, except for the ones that want to, you know, include Esau into the kingdom and save Esau. But Jake loved that. Jake didn't want to deal with the bitter. All right, Jake, wanted, when you start getting into the sins of Jake and the, the scriptures begin to cut Jake, that's when they don't want to really uh, dig deep into it. Jake is, Jake's mind is set on doing what the fuck they want to do in this world. All right, whether it, it, they have their own, they have our people that set up their own righteousness, not the righteousness of the Heavenly Father or the scriptures, but their own righteousness according to their wisdom and according to their vain, uh, vain thoughts. This is uh, Ezekiel 3 and 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat thou the eat that thou findest, eat the roll, and go speak to the house of Israel. All right, the roll is the scriptures. And I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat the roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then I did eat it, and in my mouth it was as honey for sweetness. So he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak my words unto them. All right, it, it was sweet in his it, it was sweet in his mouth. All right, when he was able to, you know, he received his truth. But it became eventually it became bitter. Let me see. Uh hearken. Yeah, this is when, you know, he was going to speak to Jake, and Jake won't hearken. Jake wouldn't listen. Okay? And, and, and you know, it became bitter because Jake, you you know, as a prophet, you go out there and you speak to Jake, and they're not trying to hear that. All right, Jake only wants to hear smooth things. All right, uh, let me go to this. Uh, um, here it is, Isaiah 30, back in Isaiah 30. And I started at 9. Uh, let me see. Yes, yeah, I at 9. For this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Most High, Yahweh. All right? Our people don't want to hear the law of the Lord. They want to hear, you know, they want answers, but they don't want these answers. All right. They want answers, but they don't want to repent. They want to continue in their wicked life. All right. And, you know, uh, um, continue in, in, you know, with, with you know, with a, uh, uh, their vision or with their thought of what God is or what God should be. They get that bullshit from the so-called white man. They get that shit from the devil. OK. Um, verse 10, which say to the seers, see not into the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy the seats. Those are the answers that Jake wants. Jake don't want the real answers from the Bible. Jake don't want the real, the the, the you know, they don't want it, uh, uh, you know, they don't want it straight. All right. Jake still want to be a nigga and think that it's you know, oh they can they they can. Jake wants to be a Christian. That's what it is. It, it, they want to be a nigga six days out the week. Go to the church, dress to impress, or, you know, so called repent, and uh, then next six days they a nigga. All right, they they doing what they feel. They commit adultery. All right, they're stealing from their neighbor. All right, they're, they're, they're slandering their neighbor. They're bearing false witness. They're gossiping. They're doing all this nigga shit because that's what, that's what Christianity allows them to do. Because in, in in you know uh, Jake has been Jake has been in Babylon so long. You know that's all they know. But the prophets are here to tell you this is another it's it's it's, it's another way. It's a righteous way to go about it. But you have to deal with the bitter. All right, you have to be brought to a lower level. You have to suffer. Yeah, we suffered in this captivity, but you got to suffer even more once you come to this truth. But Jake wants to hear those smooth things. They want to hear the deceits. It says, get you now, get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease before us. They don't want to hear the Bible. Like Jake don't want real answers. All right, wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out of the high wall and breaking who's cometh at an instant. And that 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 uh, that breach, that breaking that's going to come at an instant is going to be a, a harsh judgment on our people. All right. That wave the hand. All right. They don't want to hear it. All right. What is that? Uh, scripture. Uh, let me find it real quick. I know this is Zechariah, Zechariah 7. All right, this, you know, Jake don't really want the answers, but the answers are right here in the Bible. In, your, in, in the Bible, in your grandmother's house, you walk by all the time. That's where all the answers are to your problems. This is uh, Zechariah 7 and 11. Um, but they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Jake don't want to hear the truth. Jake don't want to hear the answers. The answers are right there on the street corner in, in your city. Okay, the answers are right there on YouTube. All right, everybody got a damn cell phone. So, hey, 
Everybody got a dent and they got the YouTube app, but the answers are right there. All right, but what does Jake do? Jake drives by the camp. Jake, uh, uh, you know, skips over a video. All right, Jake is only looking for um, uh, excitement, entertainment, okay? that That's why, you know, uh, two-thirds of our people got to be destroyed. All right, they're going to be destroyed, and that judgment's going to begin at the house of the, of the Lord, as it says in, um, what's that, 1 Peter 4 and uh, 17. Judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh Shem Yahweh All right, but our people continue to look for answers from any and everywhere but the Heavenly Father. Let me grab this real quick in Hosea. Because the Lord turned his face from us. All right, he did in let me see the Hosea 4. Maybe it's Hosea. Uh, maybe Hosea 5. Yeah, Hosea 5. I will go return to my place till they acknowledge their offenses and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. All right, Jay got to really be afflicted to, um, to, 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 you know, to receive the answer, not necessarily to seek the answers and receive them. All right, you can seek answers, but you may not receive the answer that you want. All right, when you tell Jay, hey, the MOTB is the, the, the is the chip. All right, and they're going to implement it and make it mandatory. They can hear it now, but they really won't receive it until that time comes where. Wait, is it really? Is it really? The, is that really the mark of the beast? Like, yeah, Jake is the mark of the beast, and then Jake's faith ain't been built up. So, if, if more than likely, they're gonna accept it. They're gonna um, more than likely they're gonna accept it, and then which is ultimately gonna lead to their destruction. All right, so I don't want to you know go too long, but all the answers are in the Bible. All right, the, the answers are in the Bible, but you gotta seek the prophet. You gotta seek the Lord's face. You gotta repent and turn to the Lord. And then he will point you in the right direction to the proper teachers that's going to teach you these these righteous laws, these you know these these righteous laws and judgments and and prophecies of the Lord. All right. Until then, you niggas is just going to be dead in a dead state. All right. Seeking for answers. Got the, they got the questions. They they want to know, but they seeking for they'll be seeking for answers from the devil, seeking answers from the black community, from the black church, from the Christian church, from the Catholic church, seeking from Allah and Islam and. All these other, all these other books and bullshit. When the Bible is right there, right, in, it's really right there for a limited time. Because once the prophets, once the family of the word comes, the prophets are going to be gone. All right, and, and you, and and you, you really won't be able to get those answers. All right, let me let me end with that. Let me end with that. Um, what is that? Uh, Ecclesiastes eight. Is it eight? No, Amos eight. I'm sure. Something else. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. The words of the Lord are the answers. Okay? And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Everyone's going to be looking for those answers. Even the Christian church, the one that you thought had the answers, going to be seeking prophets who can tell us what's really going on yeah, the mark of the beast world war famine all right mass death what, what what's going on ain't nobody gonna have the answers but the prophets through the spirit of your by shot all right so um lord willing this lesson was edifying unto the elect and i want to give all praise glory and honor unto your hawa bahashim yahweh shai bahashim yahweh kakudash shalom